So Intel has officially posted a reply to the cancellation reports of their 10 nanometer process, spread by certain media outlets. According to Intel, the reports are untrue and they are still making good progress when it comes to 10 nanometer. Intel 10 nanometer woes are nothing that the tech industry isn't aware of. The company has been so far behind on schedule with what they initially promised that even Intel themselves don't exactly know when a retail product is going to ship out to consumers. This means that some sort of controversy from the rumor mill is expected to rise and that just so happened to happen. Semi-Accurate posted an exclusive report that Intel has killed off one of its most major technologies, the 10 nanometer process. See, the 10 nanometer process has its problems and most of them are related to manufacturing delays and yields, but the website reported that Intel has simply said goodbye to their 10 nanometer process, one of the marketing highlights for many years for the company. Many media outlets quickly started churning out their version of the story, quoting semi-accurate on their reports, but today, or yesterday now, Intel has straightforwardly denied that the 10 nanometer process is ending. According to Intel, the reports are untrue and further states that yields are improving consistently and that good progress is being made on 10 nanometers. According to Intel themselves, the 10 nanometer process based chips would start shipping out in 2019, which sounds good, but when looking at their first 10 nanometer process announcement roadmaps, we will come to know that 10 nanometer was projected for a launch in 2015, but since then, Intel has been popping out 14 nanometer chip after 14 nanometer chip plus 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 based on enhanced process designs. That is one reason why their 14 nanometer supply has been put in such a constraint that supply of their desktop and server grade parts is running short around the globe. Price hikes can be seen on the desktop parts across the market with the 8th and 9th generation CPUs selling well beyond their retail prices. Intel recently invested an additional $1 billion in 14 nanometer production ramp to keep the supply going, but the situation is not all great for Intel at the moment. With competition heating up from the other side and TSMC 7 nanometer process being used to power AMD's next generation Ryzen and Epic processors, Intel may have to start thinking about their product and process timeline if they want to retain their lead in the CPU market. So at this point, we'd love to hear from you guys again. I know we've asked this question before, but how concerned are you with the process node? Are you happy if it's just fast or would you really rather be on that bleeding edge technology process? Love to hear your thoughts on that one down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.